Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another YouTube video. I'm Nika. Today, I'm going to show you how I cut the zazia grass. Right now, this is my lawn. And um, it's pretty much high. And it has a lot of dry touch underneath. So, you can see right here. It has a lot of dryness on there. Because I allow it to grow this high. That's why it is not advisable to grow zazia grass too high. Because you will have... A lot of touching underneath the grass surface itself, the blade of the grass itself. Right, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to cut it back severely. I'm going to practically scalp it. Because what I did, this land was recently established and I established it from, from um, plugs. So I didn't want to come and, you know, disturb it. So I fertilized it and allowed it to grow up like this. So what I'm going to do now is to cut it back and allow it to spring fresh. And that's why you're going to see the real, real beauty of this grass. So it's not looking too good now, but as you can see, over here, I'm scalping it and I'm using my weed whacker, still FS85, and that's what I'm going to use. I'm not going to use any more or anything because I don't have that, so I'm just going to use what I have. I'm just going to use this and cut it down all the way down, as close as to the soil level as possible, and allow it to regrow because I said it is recently established, and I want the grass to establish a very good root system before I cut it. So this is the time now I'm going to cut it. Let me just span out and show you the entire land. That is it. That is it. So I'm just going to carry it through. Show you how I cut it. So follow me.
Ladies and gentlemen, this is the finished product. Cut the lawn, trim up the hedging, but just look, look at the lawn. So it look brown. This is because I scalp it, cut it all the way down. I got this is the lowest setting, lowest level I can go without damaging it. So. What, that, what this will do now is to allow the grass to send out new shoes, new blades of grass coming closer to the surface, low and tight. So this is the purpose of scalping it. it. It was growing a bit too high, but I intentionally allow it to grow that high because as I said, I just established it. And um, we had a little, some, we had some patches and stuff. So we want the grass to develop fully before we cut it. So I didn't want to come and just cutting it, cutting it like that. So I allow it to fully establish and then I cut it down to the lowest setting. So this is it. Let's pan out and show you. So in a week, in a week or so when you come back, this will be looking very very green and lush again so don't watch it because as i said i just detach it and i use the rake when i cut it i use the rake to get out some of the touch and the the touch is just the 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 the, 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 um, the dried grass that is closer to the ground right you want to get rid of those touch just to allow gas better gas use exchange you don't want you want some amount of touch to keep the, the environment the soil environment cool but at the same time you want to release some of the touch so that you can have good gas use exchange so the grass can grow much much better so that is what i did so that is why you see it look so brown right so if you are cutting your zazia grass if you are maintaining it and you're cutting it on a regular you won't see this but if you allow it to grow too high and you cut it this low then you're going to have this brown but don't worry because as i said the grass is fully established and it will be able to to um to rebound and to replenish itself so don't worry about that if you live in temperate countries um if you live in places like north america cold countries you want to to, to scalp your land just before spring so that the grass what I do with soon as spring come around you, you give your, your grass the opportunity to to grow to its full potential but we are in the Caribbean we can do it just about any time because we have good climate year round so that is why I went ahead and do this it looks good but I said don't worry too much about the brown because as you can see before I cut it it was green 
all of it was green but because of this thatch that was built up in it and the scalping process that is what allowed it to look like this but as i said by a week time because i'm going to water this every day i'm going to irrigate it every day so that the grass can regenerate quickly so within a week's time this will regenerate and we'll have greenery again so i'm going to update you just to show you how it looks after a week or so all right as i said i use the steel fs85 string trimmer and you have to be skill if you're if you going to use the trimmer to cut the, 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 the lawn like that if you can see we don't have any any area where we we have any exposed soil it is cut pretty much neat so if you're going to use string trimmer you have to be skilled you have to have a good level of skill um, to our competence to cut it and don't damage the land so it will be best if you're going to scalp the land to use your mower and just put it on the lowest setting and scalp it and when you scalp it you have to rake as well rake and bag the clippings don't leave the clipping top don't mulch don't use the clipping don't mulch the land so if you have the mower that have the mulch feature take it off the mulch feature and bag it right bag the clippings rake it just to get out most of the dried grass from the 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 the, 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 the land so that as i said you can have better gaseous exchange and the grass can be able to grow much better because of the increase in oxygen and airflow gaseous exchange in general right intake of carbon um, carbon um, oxygen and the exchange of carbon dioxide to the atmosphere and as if you if and as i said if you if you if you do this process you have to make sure that you water the land every day also now is the time to apply fertilizer because the grass will need a good amount of nutrients to replenish itself so if you're going to add fertilizer this is the time to add and you'll add the fertilizer in about a week's time or so just when you have some amount of leaves start to emerge you add the fertilizer to the land to give it a boost to look green again all right don't know if i'm going to add the video that i promised you like the update the weekly or the, the, the one week update to this particular video but if i don't add it to this particular video i will upload that video separately all right remember to like share and subscribe to the channel Oman garden fix and tricks for Oman garden fix and tricks i'm nicole peace